Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's DGFX or Nick here, and today I'm coming at you with an After Effects tutorial on how to create some great looking 2D text in 3D space. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into this tutorial. Um, so let me show you exactly what we'll be creating today. So, here's a preview. So as you can see, this is all 2D text right here. Uh, there's no 3D text, and it actually looks pretty good. It's not just some basic, uh, you know, just track 2D text. It actually has a few styles, you know, applied to it. Um, it looks pretty good. It flows. Uh, it's not just your simple 2D text. It just looks kind of pretty crappy um, without, you know, anything. So this looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump right into After Effects and the download link below. Um, you want to click, you want to download it, and it comes with a few assets for this tutorial. Within this package, you will find a smoke overlay, a little shockwave effect, and uh, some smoke, and some raw footage you guys can use for this tutorial. So go to the After Effects import file, uh, mine saved on the desktop. Wherever you, you know, you saved it at, you click assets, and then import folder. So there you go, you have your assets already loaded in, and you can go strictly from there. So you want to take your raw footage, you want to go to new comp from selection, and then let me just double check the composition settings, should be at 60 frames a second, 1280 by 720, but I want to change my start time code to strictly to zero, uh, to where everything kind of lines up. And now, I don't know why it's doing that, but we just go ahead and click in, and then trim comp to work area, so we cut that piece off. But there you go, you uh, provide y'all with some great raw footage for this tutorial uh, where y'all can practice practice, and follow along with me without having to worry about going get some type of stuff. So uh, the first thing you want to do is just go right click, track camera. I already kind of jumped the gun and did it before I said anything. Uh, but that's to be first. What this is going to do is get our 3D scene set up and everything. And we'll get to y'all right when it's done. Alrighty guys. So after you finish tracking your camera, you should get a whole bunch of just points like this um, everywhere <laughs> now basically what this is if you don't know is 3d camera tracked movement so basically it tracks the ground it tracks just points uh, that you can basically put 3d objects on and when you put an object on it it'll stay it'll stick to that point uh, it's kind of like just a bunch of glue on the ground and whenever you put the object on it, it's gonna stick to it as the camera moves by so let's go, I like to kind of go like the middle of the footage. Um, I like to find like the spot I want to put my object. I kind of like this little spot right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click and hold and kind of, it's going to show like this little like tool, pig whip tool. And we're going to drag and we kind of make like a circle and select multiple dots. What this will do is it will give us a better, uh, under, it will give the After Effects a better understanding of the area we want and it will help put a better object for us to track off of which it gives us a null and a null is basically just like an object but it doesn't render um, it's it's weird to explain it's it's like an object that's there when you're editing but it, it's not when you're actually rendering it's just like a point that remembers a group of points um, so there's our null object right there. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It, it's tracked in within the camera and um, pretty badass. <laughs> By the way, it's a good time right now to save your project. So let's hit Control S. Uh, find where you want to save it at. Um, do, 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 for the sake of this tutorial, tutorial, and save. So now after you do this, you're probably like, all right, well, what the hell are we going to do now? And that is where we're going to actually start doing this, you know, 3D text mix app, all that shit. So um, you go ahead and do a new text layer. Just click the little text icon and start typing, hey, uh, tutorial. So that looks pretty cool and all, um, but eh, not perfect. So you know what? We're actually going to go and just do hey on this one. And we're going to do another text layer. So let's do hey. Yeah, that works. And then come there and then do another text layer tutorial. So now what we can do is kind of do like a thing where like 
some of the you know text like slides off or we can kind of like you know we'll, we'll use position on both of them to where we can transform each individual one and uh, do some cool like text warping effects I'll show you guys now here be another cool idea would be to you know kind of warp uh, text with the colors and stuff select a little bit of the text and then go ahead and just edit right here I'm, I like to kind of do some stuff like this uh, where you highlight a word or a letter you make some of the other word bigger just kind of warping the text up a little bit um, I don't know let me do red uh, and then do that one smaller that looks pretty cool <clears throat> but now you're like okay well let me go ahead and play it uh, well none of my text is tracked to that no well you know simple question guys just to tell you guys you actually have to do it yourself it's not all it's not all automated uh, but now if you hit the 3d if you turn 3d on it gives the tutorial that's your text already like some 3d space so it kind of already tracks it in a little bit but it's not to the position we want so let's go ahead and just click position all of these open up these positions and as you see look at the position on the uh, track null and um, you can kind of compare it to all these other positions and it's completely different so let's try to fix that up so we go ahead and we can do two things you can come there and just click on position the word and it'll kind of like highlight everything but make sure you're at the beginning of the workspace then all you're going to do is hit control C then hit control B. like if you do the same thing you click on a position and hit control V on the hey you and the tutorial and there we go it just pastes the you know position for that track null to it there's other ways you can do it and I'll show you guys in a few seconds um, but let's get this kind of set up for a second there we go there we go alright so there we go as you see our text is tracked in uh, looks pretty good all right guys this is djfx out peace nah i'm just joking guys we're gonna go ahead and get this into a little better because this is pretty much you know a basic tutorial would just show you guys okay hey and it's it well we show we so far showed you guys how to track this bitch we showed you how to change the color change the little wording size uh so we're already a little bit more advanced than regular tutorials no hate intended boom boom all right now let me show you guys something else um this is this is something that's not gonna be related tutorial but it might help you guys out in the future and well it might help you guys out but for this tutorial we really don't need it but i'm just want to show you guys so just pay attention to this it's not something you really need to you know try to manipulate at the same time um if you alt click on a position and it opens up this magical expression position and you're probably like what the fuck is this like you're so confused right now um, this is basically your expression which basically you can type in stuff here and it will make your it will, you know it'll make these coordinates do things so what we want to do is want to grab this pig whip tool as you can see everything starts highlighting up I go over it, and you want to drag it to the track null um, and then you just click wherever you want and basically what it does this it copies the, the position but it keeps this position so if I move this this you know track null it moves the position of this as well it basically this does is it links it this position to the track null and whatever this thing does it manipulates on this U now where this can be useful at is a thing where you can have multiple multiple objects of one object you move this one object and all the objects follow with it now something useful for this like a scenario uh, hypothetical scenario that you might use this for is say if you're building a 3d forest and you want a bunch of bushes in one area a bunch of trees in another area and say you don't like the look of them all and you want to move them you don't want to move every single little bush to a new spot you link them all up to the track null you move the null over and then boom all your bushes go to the track null or move over at once so just a little you know heads up of what that could do um, and you just all click on it all click off to disable it uh, but we're gonna use our original position that we set up so now what we're gonna go ahead and actually is, is kind of raise this up just a little bit um, and then I want to scale these things up because they're kind of small so let's go ahead and scale them both up uh, hit S on your keyboard for your scale. I want to make the hey you the same size as the tutorial. There we go. 
that looks pretty cool um, and as you can see it's all kind of linked in that looks awesome I like it I like it I like it alright so now let's go ahead and import some stuff let's go ahead and do the shockwave let's see what this does whoa that looks cool so this basically just kind of goes whoa and then explodes that's awesome I like it I like it a lot um, now quick little I want you guys to pause the tutorial right now go in the description and you're gonna download a plugin called VC color vibrance from video cobot.net I'll put the link in the description Alrighty guys, so if you downloaded the link, let's get right back into the tutorial. Um, and this is basically when you do this is because we need this to apply to these effects right here. Um, so let's go ahead and type in VC Color Vibrance. Alright guys, after you apply your VC Color Vibrance, as you can see, it changes the color of your shockwave. Um, and you can you know change it to whatever color you want. For this tutorial, we're going to do this red. It's kind of orangish. I like it. Now, you see the thing is, it has this background. And so what we have to do is this thing called masking. So you want to grab your mask tool right here. You want to hit M and then you want to click a mask around this whole entire shockwave to cut it out. But now you see the thing is you have to track it. Oh, dude, that's a mess. That's, that's an extreme mess. No, I, I give up. I don't want to do this. Whatever. Bye. Haha, <laughs> just joking, guys. Cool thing about the VC Color Vibrance is... <clears throat> It has this thing called Mount Alpha. Mount Alpha basically allows you to remove backgrounds off of <clears throat> off of items uh, with the capabilities. So basically, what Mount Alpha does removes everything that's black in the uh, you know footage. No racist intent, indeed, intended. <laughs> um, but now you're like, oh, well, now it kind of like degraded explosion a little bit. Well, cool thing about VC color vibrance is you can fill the empty background and it'll kind of help, um, you know, give it back some of those effects. Uh, give it back some of those, you know, key color keys that make it, you know, look good. And that looks pretty cool right there. It actually looks like real fire right there. Uh, better watch out. Don't want to set the sprinklers off in the building. So that looks awesome. Um, let's go back to our project and let's right click on the shockwave vortex and do interpret footage main and we're going to change this frame rate of this to 60 frames a second and it's going to be a little smoother haha <laughs> that looks awesome all right now let's see i want to go ahead and also change the text uh well i say text a little bit more red uh i don't know how i want to do this shit let's change the red up there we go i want like that perfect mix and that looks like it would be about right there um so whoa whoa that looks awesome i like it uh but now you know again we got to go here to the 3d layer so you're going to turn your 3d layer on uh, by the way guys, if you don't have your little 3D stuff right here, these little layers, toggle switches and modes, this is how you switch between everything. So, so you want to go ahead and hit position, you want to copy the position of track null, paste it on here, and boom, you got your position. Uh, and now we're just going to have to kind of raise it up with a Y, and we're going to see if we can get this to where we want it. Cool, so this is a part of the tutorial so far of just a, a shockwave. Alright, but let's show you guys what I want to do this in here now. So grab the tutorial in the U, and I want to kind of... The best thing to do for this is actually probably do a new comp from selection. Um, let's go ahead and let's bring a little bit of scale to this shockwave. I'm trying not to bring too much because of this floor. Um, let's see if we can do something here, guys. Let's go ahead and make a new comp from, not a new comp from selection, but do a new solid on the ground. And I want it to hit, let's bring the scale up. Alright, alright. Now let's go ahead, let's just scale it up really big. Really, 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 really big. Okay. And let's go to shockwave, toggle switches the mode. Huh. 
Haha. <laughs> Alright guys, so basically what you're gonna do is what I did was I created a solid based off these 2D texts and I put it on the ground as a ground layer. And what it's gonna do is basically this explosion kinda happens and then it just tracks this this two this you know this solid layer right here um, basically uh, stops it from touching the ground and what's cool about this is it kind of gives it a little bit better of an effect it don't look like it's floating so much uh, so boom there we go Alright, but now we need to come there and give this text some animation because that looks so boring, just some explosion and then nothing really happening. So let's just set a marker up here. Uh, come on. So marker, hit the asterisk key. And we want to kind of like spin this text a little bit, rotate it. Um, we can actually go ahead and do new comp from selection or just pre-compose. Move all to uh, attributes to new composition text uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna relink it to its position control V uh, there we go so where's the text that V P there we go and we have to actually go into the composition and uh, turn off these 3d layers uh, P I think it's 640 by 480 I want to say up oh, yeah 480 and that's the center so there we go get a hey all right so let's see that's back in the position we want it one about right there there we go so it's in the center now here's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna basically put this text inside of that shockwave um, and spin it around and stuff so won't well, that be cool that'd be kind of like you know cool I guess um, I mean I don't know what you guys think but it looks a lot better than your uh, transparency on tech so huh? just saying so yeah our Z rotation Z rotation is basically your rotation of left to right your Y rotation is your, you know, if you'd pick it up, spin it left to right. Z rotation is, oh, how do I explain this? Um, depends on how you look at it. If you're if you're looking at it, turn it up down. But if you're looking over it, you left to right. And then if you were underneath it, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna show you guys a tutorial and do my job. So y'all just pay attention. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna kind of like, you know, spin this text to. We want it to. I don't know why. What the? F why is it jumping right there? I don't know why it's jumping right there. Um, something must have happened with the camera. Okay, let's not just let's just not pay attention to that. Um, okay, so we're gonna put this text. We're gonna start making some keyframes and stuff. Uh, so I want to open up everything. So I'm just gonna open it, double click, open that. And to start off, I want to come there and do position, scale, Z rotation, uh, all of that. And I want to keyframe it to where I want the text to stop. Um, and then about right here is where I want to scale it down. I want to turn my Z rotation so we're kind of whoa that looks pretty cool I like that let's go ahead and render that out again hey tutorial I like that guys I like that I like it I like it a lot but it still needs a little something uh, and that is some optical flares you know explosion don't happen and it don't it just you know it just it don't just sit there it kind of does stuff so we're gonna add a few more things to that um,
So we can add a few more things to that and be cool is like adding a optical flares uh, to that. So let's go to optical, new layer, optical flares. Uh, let's turn on adjustment layer, optical flares. All right, actually, yeah, you can turn off over it. One transparent, there we go. Now let's put like optical flare right there. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it, it didn't track. Yeah, guys, cause you actually have to turn on the 3D source type into optical flares. And then we're gonna give it our, you guess it, position of our track null for this. Um, so you can simply just come there, control C, uh, control V, uh, you know, this is your X, Y, and Z. Uh, Z is your 3D space. Uh, and then, so control Z, position Z, boom. So that's how you do that. And look, you see our optical flares down here with our track null. So we're gonna go ahead and just raise up. So this is your X, which is your left to right, and your Z is your up to down, I meaning your Y is up to down. So about right there, we can add something. Cool. So let's find a light for this. We need, okay, this is really pissing me the fuck off. I don't know why it's doing that. Boom, okay, we need something. Cause I mean, come on, explosions don't happen this, you know, this big and there'd be no light. We need add light. I said, let there be lights. Okay, so evening sun, a sun's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like the evening sun, so let's do that. So let's cross that over a little bit, raise that up, right down. Let's scale it up a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. So now we got this bright little light. Um, let's go ahead and change the center position. This is kind of where like it shines too. As you see, you move it around. I'm gonna kind of put mine like that. So now you got this bright little light. I don't know why this guy's walking so close to it. I mean, when you walk by fire, you're gonna get burned. This guy's walking by something so bright that it's just about you know forming 3D text out of nowhere. So. He needed to be careful. Come on now. So we're gonna turn. We're gonna mess with all of this. The scale, the brightness um, for this optical flare. So we hit U, so we can kind of animate it. And then um, here's how I want this to happen. I want to do a few frames. I want to. I want to. Um, what you call it? I want to scale up. Like I want it to go nothing, bright, 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 and then die out. That's what I want. Um, let's just turn brightness off. So let's go. Boom. I look cool. Okay, is something wrong with the camera? Figure that out. Okay, besides our like text flipping out, uh, we're still gonna do this. Okay, so I want the scale on this thing to be really, really small. <laughs> I should edit more than one. My bad, you guys. Go to the next one. Let's just do 200. So it's, that's pretty cool. I like it, I like it a lot. So now you have like this explosion or bright light in the middle, you text jump into one side of the track for no reason. Um, it's pretty fucking cool, I like it. I wanna actually scale down the shockwave a little bit so let's do a really small scale and then we'll kind of do it with the light and expand it back up so we goes there you go that looks cool i like it so it's like explosion some fire some bright light uh it looks good. It looks good. You got you starting to add some effects to this now. But now you see after like you when you kind of transfer, you know, go over across the universe really, really fast enough to where you just teleport to the ground with some bright light and everything. You don't just look all clean and fresh like that. Normally you can have some type of like smoke after. Uh, you might be a little hot after you know just being vaporized from one place to another like this. So what do you need? Smoke. So we're gonna add some smoke to the scene, like some background effects and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and add our smoke loop. But before that, let's go ahead and interpret footage main and confirm frame rate to, let's do 60 frames a second. 
So we can go ahead and import our smoke loop. Um, as you can see, uh, gotta turn on the 3D layer. Yes, guys, you guessed it. We're gonna go over to beginning, right click, control C on the position. I mean, I just click on it, position. Uh, gonna click on position on the smoke loop, control V. Now we have position our smoke loop. Now what's cool about this smoke is we can actually use the VC color vibrance on it. Probably gonna regret it, but and just do on for the matte alpha and then just change the color to white so we can have our white but I kinda wanna do a little bit of a red like that that's what I want I don't care what you want that's what I want All right, you know what maybe I do want a little darker maybe I wanna do like a uh, there we go just a little bit of a you know different tint damn that sun is bright all right, so now we're gonna go ahead, bring our smoke in. Um, again, we have to kind of like alter it a little bit so it fits in this, you know, so we can work in this relationship here. Now, I don't want the smoke to start to a certain part. Um, so I want it to start about right here and I want it to kind of scale up. So I'm going to go a few frames, click on the scale, and then go back a few frames and then scale it down really far. And then I'm going to turn the transparency on, start transparency at zero, and then go up a few, and then alter it back to 100. So it's going to kind of, you know, there you go. It kind of flies in a little bit. That looks pretty good. But now, you know, it kind of just fades, smokes, and then don't do anything. Um, so you can come there and just do time remap, remapping. Uh, you can stretch it out if you want. It's be kind of glitchy, though. Uh, it might not be that bad. Let's double check that. Too glitchy for me um, so we can use control Z get rid of that and um, you can just hold up hold up I don't know why it freaked out we can go in is turn off time remap <coughs> time remap and go back to the smart loop uh, smoke loop main and then here's where we want to do something called other options loop and this is basically gonna come there and it's going to play the footage over and over. So if I do this five times, hit enter, it's going to loop this footage five times, this smoke loop five. And it's just going to keep going. So we have our initial settings. And then it's just going to loop, 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 loop. And now the reason why we wouldn't just want to put like, um, you know, some, make it longer with like settings or with uh, slow motion is because with slow motion it becomes to the point where it just lags and stuff all right so that's looking pretty good guys we got our smoke in there um but we still need to kind of alter that smoke a little bit because it's not completely to the point where i want it and uh, i want to add a few more effects to this because this smoke just looks so random right here it don't look good at all so we got our optical flares in there. And I'm, I want to kind of actually change the color of the optical flares. I'm not digging that color. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's tint it. I'm going to add a little bit of an orange. Just a little bit. Nothing too. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. It fits in a little bit more. Um, you know what? Let's actually just look at the flares. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got a motion graphics, pro assets. Alrighty guys, we're gonna try to see if we can find something else as a little bit more like that. Something kind of more, you know, rounded. This one's a little too harsh. Um so we can go back to it. It's a little too harsh with these sharp lines like that. And you know, it just looks like something that's be up in the air. It don't look like something that's be a circle uh that'll form from you know, maybe that right there. But I want something that's kinda dirty. Um that would be a good one as well. Let's see. 
Let's try this one. Let's see what this will look like, guys. That looks fucking cool. And I want that smoke to fade out pretty quick. So let's let's go ahead and you know I changed mine up. I'll, I didn't want it to last too long. Um, that looks cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. It looks amazing. Um, but we need to work on this light because it needs to be a little brighter. Uh, it needs to change up. So let's see if we can move it around. Let's actually go back to this one right here and let's change that scale up. <laughs> I love it. That looks cool. I love it a lot. Um, now let's go ahead and duplicate the shockwave effect and we actually want to increase the scale of it uh, we want to go to about 200 and then we're gonna go ahead and bring the opacity down to about 50% um, and we're gonna show you guys what's gonna, it's gonna do it's gonna kind of you see how it kind of makes this like extra uh, kind of in the back so let's go ahead we actually have to duplicate this track solid as well um, let's go ahead and bring that back there we go um, and it's kind of does it's just it makes like this extra con in the back uh, maybe we'll throw a bit of X rotation on it or not live Z rotation I'm on the wrong one because I'm an idiot sometimes um, let's do a little bit of X rotation and we're gonna go ahead and do fast blur uh, now what this fast blur will do is it's gonna kind of blur it out and give it just a little bit more of that faded kind of like it's hidden in the background effect um, that looks really cool. I like that a lot. Now we're going to go ahead and add something. And that is another optical flares. I know guys. I know y'all guys are getting tired of this optical flare stuff. But. <clears throat> we like it. So I don't really care what you think. Personally don't care what you think. Um, oh shit. Control Z. Control Z. Um, so let's see, let's go to you. Okay, as long as the brightness is up, uh, about 100. And I'll we'll actually turn the brightness down for now, just so I can kind of make some position on here. Um, I want it to kick in about right there when that smoke is kicking off. Um, I don't want it, I want it to fade in. So let's we'll start the, you know, brightness. Brightness to about zero right there. Um, we'll do about a hundred coming in. All right, and we're gonna do a different optical flare. Uh, you know, that's something good to do is change it up. You don't want to keep doing the same flares because it's gonna kind of give it like a repetitive theme. So, what's this look like? If I can find. You know, that looks cool. I like that. Um, You know, that's something kind of similar to what we have already in there. Let me see what I'm looking for. Let's try this dirty anamorphic. I kind of want something kind of dirty, like I said. And this might be what it. There we go. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to come there and increase it. Uh, that's a little bit more reddish. Uh, it looks like that's going to be too much. Uh, it's just a little overpowering, too overpowering, but I do want that tint in there. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's go ahead and change it one more time, guys. I'm sorry. I'm killing y'all. We're going to go ahead and just do red spots. <laughs> um... So yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, and that's just to be kind of in the center. 
I want to bring the there we go I like that a lot it looks really really good uh, now maybe if you want to add something extra um, I added some blood behind the text so let's go back to your text right here and let's bring in this blood splatter um, you know you find the part you want if I can get it in here so that's about the blood splatter right there uh, you go to time time freeze frame stretch it out um, and then you can kind of just you know put it in with your text right here <laughs> you get this really weird looking thing um, so let's go ahead and I kind of want to overlay it like yeah that looks really good I like that a lot So now we got this big just clusterfuck. Um, I want to drop this optical flares behind the text, kinda, uh, or maybe above it. I don't know. Let's see. What do I want to do? Um, I might bring in that blood. Uh, let's put it in here instead, and let's go turn it off in the text layer. Go to P uh, text, and let's do let's do the pig whip. Let's go to position and we're going to link it to the thing. There we go. So now it kind of links in um, and we can actually kind of fade off this blood a little bit. There we go. Just to add effects and we want this optical flares behind. Still not maybe perfect what I want. Let's try to change a little bit of this. That don't look that bad right there at all. Um, so it fades in. All right, let's go ahead and go to this blutter. Let's hit R for the rotation, go for the text, and let's go ahead and pig whip the Z rotation to this rotation. So now we should have that spin as well. There we go. Um, and now last, I think we just need transparency. Or scale scale as well uh, so let's go to the blood let's click on scale and uh, let's pick whip it as well to the scale Wow okay and now let's lastly take this track solid duplicate it now this is our solid that we came there and did an apple mat on um, let's see I forgot what it was uh, track solid alpha was it luma mat that's no, luma mat inverted there we go so now we got this really cool effect uh, I think the blood is still a little too big. Let's pre-compose, leave all the objects in there. And let's go into this blood, um, and let's scale this blood. Scale this blood down. Let's do 50%. Uh, let's see what 50% does. 50% looks pretty good. Um, fly by all right guys and now let's see the only thing extra I would add to this whole setup is some flicker uh, do like 50 25 I don't know we'll see how that looks pre-test it real quick There we go. I can see we have a little flicker. Not a lot. Um, let's see how that looks. Come turns her out. Eh, not that much. Um, 
Let's turn this up. Let's turn let's turn this hunter up and let's make it sharp. I wanna see this bitch flash. Why is it so Oh wow. Wow. I just figured out why. <laughs> oh lord. Oh well. Uh we actually I figured out exactly what we're doing. We're editing the optical flares for this beginning layer. Um when we actually should have been editing the optical flares for the second flare that pops up later on. Uh, so let's do about 50, 50 sharp, and let's render just that little frame. Um, and there you go, as you can see, we have that, you know, that flashy like we want. That might be a little too much, uh, so we'll probably have to kind of turn it down a bit uh, to you you know give it a little bit more smoother of an effect um yeah that's way too fast so let's do a mount and let's do 25 uh, i think 25 is a pretty good number for this yeah 25 looks a little better um actually everything looks really good Alrighty guys, now the last thing we can do is actually just pre-compose all this together. Uh, I kind of want to go over to this blood right here and add just a little bit more of, like color to this blood. Uh, so let's just go to curves. Um, curves are, you know, let's add some... Oh, uh, shit. I forgot what it's called. Glow. Let's add some glow to this, this blood. Let's see if we can kick it up. Uh, I don't think we'll build. Let me isolate that channel. There we go. That might look a little better. And also, I want to add some. Uh, let's go to curves. And the curves is going to allow us to is to edit this a little bit and make it brighter. Oh god, it's almost... Let's turn off the glow. There we go. Just the curves look good. Alrighty, guys. And now what you can do is come there and do a new uh, solid... Uh, let's do... What was it? 1280 by 480. I'm gonna show you guys a trick. Now we're gonna hit M. M. Oh, not M. Just click, right click, mask, new mask. So now you have a mask around a black solid. Click M, Control C to click to copy that mask. Then go to Slayer Solid Settings, and then change the height back to 720. Now watch, Control V. And you just paste it that mask and click invert and I have these black bars um, and now look at that guys now let's go ahead and do layer new solid um, let's just call it CC for color correction uh, let's put that below the black solid uh, we're gonna go back to here we're gonna turn the adjustment layer on and then we're gonna type in mojo uh, which is pretty much as a kind of like preset and um, that's all we're really gonna do. We're not gonna do anything crazy for color correction. So that looks pretty damn good right there. Um, I like it a lot. And now also what you can do is you can turn on motion blur and turn on motion blur right here. And then go back. This enables motion blur per uh, you know per layer. So we can go to like our text. We know it has motion blur on it. Um, and I think that's it. It's just that beginning of that text. Uh, I can see it has a little bit of motion blur, not too much. Looks pretty good. I like it, I like it a lot. So, alrighty guys, well this is Nick with DGFX here and this is pretty much sums up the tutorial. I hope it just kind of opened up your possibilities of 2D text uh, compositing and you know, in footage and stuff and hopefully it can kind of open up some more uh, effects ideas for you guys. All the downloads will be in the description for uh, the assets we use in this tutorial and the Color Vibrance plugin. I'll link that to Video Copods where you guys can go ahead and download it for free. This has been DGFX. Have a nice day, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.
Peace.